Yo, yo, what's good? Shoot tubers, King Ali, Royalty Concepts TV with a special review. Happy about these, man. Uh, crazy how I picked these up. I just got back to Atlanta yesterday. Uh, what time? Yeah, I got in town Saturday evening yesterday. Went to a few malls and some shoe stores and one store in particular, man. I walked in. I almost didn't go in that store, bro. I almost didn't go in. I was tired. And I was just about to go to the hotel and just check in and go to sleep. And they had these sitting on the shelf. I was in shock for the fact that it's a Kobe 8 on the shelf and it's early. Uh, I think release date for these is, uh, I think, April 14 or 15 or something like that. So two more weeks. But yeah, man, the Venice Beach 8s, man. Uh, still crazy. Still hard to believe I even got my hands on the pair in my exact size, by the way. But yeah, man, um, I'm pretty sure you already know retail is 190 Out here in Atlanta, they came up to 201 And I just got to say, man, at first I was like, yeah, bro, they, they taxing with their price tag. But having them in hand, it's not so much that the shoe is worth 190 It's the fact that it's a nostalgic piece. You know what I'm saying? The materials is like whatever. You know, it's a Kobe 8. But yeah, when these came out back in 2013, I believe, these things was 140. So yeah, man, they getting the extra 50 bucks out of us, bro. So, but well worth it. I ain't really complaining. I'm just happy I got a pair. I ain't complaining. But that 3M looks good on the back. That Kobe logo, Nike check. Um, tried them on. These feel really good. So they swapped it out. Y'all already know they swapped it out. The Lunar line with um, a React phone, drop in midsole. Feels pretty good. Pretty much feels the same. But looking at this compared to the older ones, I remember having the older ones, man. It was a lot thicker than this. And I think the the size came up right here on the other models. And if you look at this, this blue piece of foam right there, I don't know what that is, but it's a lot stiffer than the rest of the shoe. Feels like plastic, but it's some type of real hard foam they put right here. I guess for like stability, keeping your foot from like rolling over like that. But yeah, it's a react drop in midsole. It's a darker green than the rest of the shoe as well. But yeah, man. This just takes me back, bro. This takes me back to 2013 when everything Nike was dropping was just heat. I remember Kobe X did not sit. I mean, I'm going to say this. It's not that they sat. It's that Kobe X were easy to get. They were easy to get, bro, because they had tons of colorways. And I could recall, I believe this is the one Kobe shoe that extended the, they extended the time frame on them. So, if I'm correct, the first Kobe 8 dropped 2012 Christmas. It was that Christmas colorway with the, the Volt Bottom uh, black upper with the multicolor upper. And then we got another Christmas shoe the following year. And that was the one with the Christmas ornament on top with the the plastic scales on top of the shoe. So, yeah, man, they made a lot of colorways. You can look it up. You can Google this stuff, bro. They made a lot of colorways. They made at least, damn near, 25 colorways of the Kobe 8s, man. And I just remember everybody buying them on Nike ID. The ID options were sick on these. But having these in hand, man, is I really, this really made me miss the times when Nike was pushing out quality basketball shoes, bro. Like, everything that's on the shelves now is kind of like whatever. The, the, the uh, John Morant's, I don't care for them. Uh, the KD 16s, I don't care for them. Like, nothing, no, there's nothing inside stores right now that, that has me feeling like this. Yeah, these things are super lightweight. Stadium green. Oh, that's stadium green. Okay, so the stadium green is going to be this. And I know that because uh, those penny ones are the same color as this. Those stadium green penny ones. So. But that's something they changed, obviously. But yeah, man. Um, really, really happy, man. Very fortunate to have this, this pair. I would say don't sleep. Try to get your pair. I'm pretty sure Nike, well, we already know Nike's going to have them. Based on how I was able to get these, I got a feeling that Foot Locker and Champs is going to get these as well. I know they're going to raffle them, 
but I got a feeling that a lot of stores are getting these. I just got a hunch that the way I was able to pick these up makes me feel like there's a chance that there's going to be a ton of them out there. And there should be, man. Like, everybody should be able to have a pair of these. I'm telling you, bro, if you never own a pair of Kobe A's, man, you don't know what you're missing. But to me, this is my favorite by far. Like, the Kobe 8 is my favorite Kobe of all time. I want to say the the 5 is next and then maybe the 9 and then the 11s. Yeah, but these are just cool, bro. You just slip, slip them on. I'm definitely wearing these um, casually. Well, sports, sports wear, I want to say with some joggers or something like that shorts and by the way if you need a shirt to go with these if you need a shirt to go with these if you plan on wearing these casually if you plan on getting them hit me up go to my ig at uh road to concepts send me a dm and i'm gonna probably start doing shirts man within the next week or so but i already got the colors picked out i went to my spot out here in atlanta and i picked the colors out already so it's pretty much gonna look like this I'm trying to see if I can find this teal aqua color t-shirt tomorrow. Everybody's clothes right now is, um, is, uh, what is it? Easter Sunday right now. So, but that would have been dope, bro. Like if we got an Easter Sunday where the Easter Kobe A's, that would have been real dope to get right now. But yeah, man, uh, again, if you need a shirt to go with these, I will have reflective material on the t-shirt. I just got to pick out what design I want to use. I haven't picked it out yet. And I got some new designs I'm working on. But again, if, you, if you're if you interested in getting a t-shirt for any of your sneakers, just go to my IG at uh, Royalty Concepts. I should be up and running within the next two weeks. So, yeah, man, y'all hit me up, man. I uh, appreciate you guys for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Subscribe, man. Hit that comment section below. Uh, I'm just a few, like maybe 150 followers away, for, bro, from 1,000 uh, followers. So, with the type of content I've been bringing, man, I'm like, nah, bro. I'm speaking for myself. Like, I got to have my own back when I say this. I'm supposed to have a whole way more followers than I do. Or subscribers than I already have, bro. But, uh, yeah, I can't wait for the summer, man. Definitely bringing uh, Royalty Concepts, the brand, the clothing brand, back online soon. Translucent out, so... This is the only Kobe I hadn't seen up close. I seen every other colorway when they came out back in the day, but this one. And for the longest, I thought this orange was like a dark red. But uh, yeah, I've been rambling for a while, man. Really happy about these. I appreciate you guys for watching. Again, subscribe, man. Subscribe, subscribe. Uh, if you're looking for a shirt to match any of your sneakers, like I said, hit me up on Royalty Concepts on my IG. That's with a K and a Z. And make sure you uh, follow me over there too as well but yeah man one last look I'm telling you you're gonna be really happy once you get these uh this is the first time i'm saying this i wouldn't mind paying resale for these that's how nice these things look and i don't pay resale for nothing bro at all but yeah, you got to get your hands on these, man. It's going to put you in the time machine back to 2013, I promise you. Yeah, I had I had a lot of Kobe A's, man, um, when they came out back in the day, bro. I had the Milk Snakes. I had the Green Glows. I had uh, the ones with the little tiger print, the, the blue, navy blue, yellow, and orange. I had, uh, I forgot the name of but it was like a navy blue, lighter blue. This check was orange, and the bottom was an ice, an ice bottom. I had... The Philippines, gray and black. I had the Philippine crimson, the red and black one, and I had the gray and black. What other colorways did I have? Uh, yeah, what other colorways did I have, bro? I had a ton of them, man. I had a lot of Kobe A's when they came back, came out back in the day. But it will be nice just to see a ton of Kobe's on the shelf right now. But, uh, oh, yeah, the Milk Snake. I had the Milk Snake. I don't know if I mentioned that already. And I had another one that was like a red and black with like some orange. It had like a scale print on it. I forgot the name of that one. But, yeah, man, I uh, appreciate you guys watching. And uh, I'm up out of here.